Welcome back guys, this is Dono aka Ben104 I know it's been a long time since I made a video And that's mainly because I left Kuwait and traveled a little bit But you know what, I'm back home, I'm in Baltimore And I finally got my hands on a Sony A7S Mark III So let's get into an unboxing Alright guys, let's just jump right into the unboxing of the Sony A7S Mark III. Now, in the box, of course, you got a bunch of instructions, the usual. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna try to make this quick. You have your standard Sony strap, which I never use. You have a Type-C to Type-C charger. And unlike Apple, you do get your charging accessories, including a charging brick, your adapter, and battery. Also, you get, you get this little thing here to keep your cables in place. Uh, maybe I'll use it. Who knows? And of course, last but not least, you have the body of the Sony A7S. Right now, my hand is shaking a lot, so I expect to see some bumps. I am trying to walk a little careful, but it is what it is. So, yeah, this is a good test for this to see if this stabilization holds up. All right, I know a lot of people are tired of hearing about specs, so I'm gonna quickly go through them. This is a 35 millimeter full frame, 12 megapixel camera. It has an ISO range to up to 409,000, but you know. Real-time autofocus, real-time tracking, 4K up to 120 frames per second, 422 10-bit recording, optical steady shot with an active mode. And for you photographers, even though this is a 12 megapixel camera, it has uh, one of the best EVFs with 9.44 million dots and many other things. So there's two things that vlog is really gonna appreciate about this camera. You got the placement of the microphone jack and that fully articulating flip out screen. You guys saw a little bit of the footage earlier, but here's some footage of me walking and talking, you know, seeing how this thing holds up, backlit with the, the sky behind me, you know? <laughs> but anyways, uh, use two hands now. I got the switch pod. By the way, I'm gonna make a video about this uh, soon. This is how it might look if you were vlogging with this camera. Now I got it at 16 millimeters. I'm zooming in a little bit. So Sony's autofocus has been good for a while, but let's just do a little test anyway. You know, you saw a little bit of the walking, but let's just kind of see, you know, like if it keeps my face, it's keeping me. So there's many more things I could talk about. This is just my initial impressions. If you guys would like to see a full review, just go ahead and leave a like on this video and just comment down below and let me know what you think of the Sony A7S III. So here's my thoughts. First of all, I love the A7 III, which, you know, I still have it, but it was missing a few features and the Sony A7S III seems to have fixed a lot of those problems that it has. Now it has a fully articulated touchscreen. Now the touchscreen actually works pretty good. The footage looks great. I haven't tested the low light too much. If you guys want to see me do something like that, I do that and I'll let you guys know what I think. I think the IBIS, it looks pretty good. You know, it's not a, a perfect, but you, got, you can use a stabilizer for that if you need it. And post stabilization can also help. I haven't tried the gyroscopes, catalyst browse or anything like that. But overall, I know it's gonna love before I even bought it. And I do. It's my favorite tour right now and I look forward to making more videos with it. So with that being said, if you guys got something out of this video, you like this video, subscribe for future content. Donnie Duck, out.